All right, we have breaking news from the governor's office. Governor McAuliffe has declared a state of emergency for Virginia because of Hurricane Irma. He says the declaration will help the Commonwealth deal with any potential damage from the storm and allow Virginia to help other states hit by the storm. All this as the hurricane gets closer to the U.S. and Jeff is tracking it for us. Yeah, and we've heard from a lot of people today saying, wait a minute, I thought it was going to stay to our south. Why are we under an emergency? We are not really expecting much in Virginia. It's just cautionary in case maybe a thunderstorm sets up over the mountains and causes some flooding or we get a little bit of minor to moderate flooding around here from the tidal you know uh, effect so not going to have much around here at all in Virginia certainly not in Hampton Roads as we can see the storm just passing Ragged Island not quite to Andros Island going to pass between Andros Island in the Bahamas and Cuba continue to work its way as a category four storm for the next day or two. And then once it gets over the really warm waters, the Hurricane Center is calling for it to reach category five status as it hits somewhere around just east of Key West. Yesterday it was looking like just south or pretty close to Miami said there was you know a chance it could be a little bit west of there. Now it is looking like that still up the middle portion there basically of most of Florida. So that hasn't changed but changing slightly what we're going to see in terms of the initial impact area. And then it dies out once it gets up here over the southeast. In terms of the possibilities where it could still go, there are a few areas, a few models that still take it here back a little bit offshore from places like Tampa. There aren't many of them. Most of our better performing models take it right up here, the middle of Florida. So we're pretty confident that is what is most likely to happen. And these are the two major models, the American model and the Canadian the American in pink, the Canadian in orange, and you can see they agree very nicely, unfortunately for Florida, on the storm coming right up there, the gut, right up the heart of Florida, and then continuing on into the southeast as just a tropical storm. This is Jose. Jose gonna be way out here in the Atlantic, do a loop back away from the US, maybe eventually tries to come back in the other direction, but that would be 10 days from now or more. Storms that get way out like this, extremely rare for them to make a run at the U.S. It has happened, but it's extremely rare. We'll obviously keep an eye on that here over the next week or two. That's the latest from the 13 News Now Weather Authority.